NALCS is stacked right now. These are this is probably the eight best teams in North America that there have ever been. I think I have something to prove, but I have a big special as my support now. I'm wearing different colors. My new team, same game. I don't even know what the top three is going to look like. I sure as hell hope that we're going to be up there and we're going to be working as hard as possible to make that happen. Once again, just like last week, every team did something different. I'm excited, personally. It should be fun. Will they give it to him? Oh! Pat the kill for Shifter in his first game on Dignitas. Slowly but surely, all these teams are getting saturated with, with just the best players that they can find in their position. It's a whole new split in league. Welcome to day two of the North American League Champion Series Spring Split. We're bringing you continuous coverage of the all Super Week action live in front of this fired up audience. Hello, I'm Ricky Pizzin III, and with me is Sam Kobe Hartman Kensler. Thank you, Riv. It's already been an action packed start to the Summer Split, and today we've got six more big games. And let's get right into it with that action and the latest out of the LCS. We have to start with LMQ. They made it to the LCS, and they're taking names. And they had an impressive 2-0 and zero start, and they looked like a team that was in complete control as they defeated the Evil Geniuses and the Spring Split's third-place team, Counter Logic Gaming. And LMQ wasn't the only team that turned heads yesterday. Dignitas took a commanding win over Complexity and showed the strength of their new lineup. Shifter turned in a godlike performance, racking up 15 kills without dying a single time, not to mention that first penna kill. Yeah, that doesn't hurt. Finally, not to be outdone by all the other team roster swaps, Evil Geniuses has made one of their own. Starting today, Alltech will be replacing Yellow Pete as EG's AD Carry. Yeah, he was playing with the Spring Challenger Series uh, with Cloud9 Tempest, and now he's going to be the youngest player in the North American LCS. That he is. So let's check out how the standings look after our first day of matches. In sole possession of first place, it's LMQ with two wins. Then in second, it's Cloud9 and Dignitas, followed by CounterLogic Gaming, who holds fourth with an even 1-1 record. Meanwhile, Complexity, Evil Geniuses, Curse, and TSM are all tied for last place and looking for their first win of the split. Weird things to see. We'll check back to see how the standings change after our six games today, starting with TSM versus Curse. Then in our second match, it's Complexity versus LMQ, followed by Dignitas taking on Evil Geniuses. And after that, it's TSM facing off against Complexity. Then Dignitas will battle it out with Cloud9 and will conclude our day with Evil Geniuses versus Counter Logic Gaming. That's what's coming up, but we want to know who you think will win each of today's matches, so head over to lolesports.com, click on Schedule, and cast your vote. And if you're having all-star withdrawal, you can keep up with your favorite international pros by checking out our coverage of the European, Chinese, Korean, and Southeast Asian leagues. That's right. You can also reserve your spot in our studio audience for an upcoming game day and get the full live and in-person LCS experience. Just click on Tickets for all the details. But for now, let's send it over to the guys at the analyst desk. Thank you very much, Riff. What's up, guys? I'm David Freak Turley, and with me is Joshua Jatt of House Leesman. Well, thank you very much, Freak. Yeah, it's going to be fun. Well, we want to take a look at some of your favorite moments according to hashtag LCS Big Plays. From Dig vs. Complexity at Lubrios tweets Shifter with a perfect 1504 and a pentakill. MVP for this week so far. Respect the penta. Here's your number three. The last fight for Complexity. Can they make it happen? West Rice in the front, but he's going to explode. Double kill there for Shifter. Explosion, triple kill. Brogashard stuck inside the base. Everyone going down except the Lee Sin. Quadra kill for Shifter. Will they give it to him? Oh! Pentakill kill for Shifter. Oh, Broken Shard. Running yep. a little bit too close to that one. Some fantasy owners got a lot of extra points after that Shifter penta kill. Our next big play comes from CLG vs. LMQ and features the awesome fight of Baron. At Lol Swaglord writes, Shall we shall the god, showing who lives and who dies in the Baron pit. Here's your number two. Seal they get the ball ahead health. though! Oh, they've got to be careful to knock up onto Link. Is this the play? Shall we shall? Try oh to make it happen. My. They pick up Dexter. LMQ keeps going. Ackman to the back line. Double kill Shao Wei Shao. They're still going. That's going to be three for him. Can he solo Baron? I no, think no, no. not. He can 
What a massive play by Xiao Wei Xiao. He put that game on his back. Yeah, it did not seem like they were going to be able to contest that Baron, but you learn something every day. Yeah, awesome play by him. So, of course, that was great. Our last highlight, though, comes from the same game, and it's all about Dexter with the fancy Lee Sin mechanics. At JD Cop, it says, holy crap, Dexter taking the insect move to a whole nother level. Or has he? We'll have to see more on that later. And this one deserves two tweets, actually. At Bad Django says, Dexter with the kick of his life. Here's your number one. Even though the 4v5 from LMQ, will it be good enough? Vasily, very low. The Q lands from Lee Sin. They don't chase down. He does oh, know it. Big damage. Kicks him back God. in the shutdown. Now, no one has got nowhere to go. Three kills picked up. Yeah. So, definitely an awesome play. The fact that yeah. the ward hop to get into range for his Q. I just know the traditional insect move is actually yeah. ward hopping to get behind as opposed to using a flash. It's crazy to think. All these Lee Sin plays are incredibly complex, but yeah. of the Lee Sin plays we've seen, even though in the moment this one looked the most impressive because of how far he flew, mm -hmm. it wasn't as difficult as just even a simple land the Q, war jump back because he war jumped as he's reactivating his Q, then the flash kick is actually easier than the ward kick. Yeah. But in the moment, they're all super difficult. And still super clutch. Almost yeah. been the game because of that. Still, grass to LMQ for the win. Remember to hop on Twitter. Tell us your favorite plays of the day by using hashtag LCSBigPlays. Now, we also want to pull your collective brain power for our Twitter question of the day. We're asking what one performance, or sorry, what day one performance impressed you the most and why? Yeah, send your answers to at LOL Esports. Use the hashtag LCS, and we'll be combing through your responses and highlighting a few later in the show. All right, so we're going to take a quick break, but when the teams get back, we're going to get into our first game of the day. Team Solo Mid versus Cursed. The North American LCS Summer Split continues right after this.